Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to our today's chemistry lesson. And the topic is structure of the atom and the periodic table. So today we are discussing chemical equations. Uh, first of all, we want to ask ourselves, what is a chemical equation? And we can say that uh, a chemical equation is a representation of chemical change. Is a representation of a chemical change. using symbols and chemical formula. Then to write a chemical equation, uh, the following procedure is is used. Uh, the first step, write a word equation. Write a word equation showing the reactants. Those are the combining substances and products and these are separated by an arrow to show the direction of the reaction. So we write a word equation first. So we'll take an example of uh, magnesium plus oxygen we get that's the direction of the reaction we get magnesium oxide so we start by writing our word equation then the second step change the word equation into a chemical equation using symbols and chemical formula. So for example, the case above, magnesium, the symbol is Mg plus oxygen O2 for oxygen gas because it's a molecule. The formula for magnesium oxide, we use the valency, is magnesium oxide. Magnesium, the valency is 2. Oxygen, the valency is 2. So 2, 2, you simplify the ratio into 1 is to 1. So after that, the next step is to check if the number of atoms of each element on either side of the equation is equal. Check if the number of atoms of, of each element on either side of the equation is equal. If not equal, make them equal by balancing them. So 
So for this case, we are saying that uh, magnesium plus oxygen So we count one magnesium atom, one magnesium atom, so magnesium is balanced. Two oxygen atoms, only one oxygen atom on this side, so oxygen is not balanced. So we balance by putting a number in front of the formula or in front of uh, the symbol, if it is just an independent uh, symbol. So here we will put a 2 in front of magnesium oxide so that we have 2 magnesium oxide. So when this 2 is here, it multiplies the whole formula. So now we have 2 magnesium and 2 oxygen. But now again on this side, magnesium is only 1. So we also multiply there by 2. So 2 magnesium, 2 oxygen, 2 magnesium, 2 oxygen. So that equation is balanced. Then the next step, after we have balanced, uh, but first of all, before we go to the next step, uh, we need to mention that when balancing, always start with the lowest common multiple then move on to the next. So if, for example, 2 does not balance, you go to 3. If 3 doesn't balance, you go to 4. But you start with the lowest. Then lastly, number step number 4, put the state symbols as shown below S for solid L for liquid G for gas AQ for aqueous solution so in our equation here we have 2mg plus O2, we get 2mgO. So magnesium is a solid because it's a metal, oxygen is a gas, so we put a G, magnesium oxide is a solid, so we put an S. So we are going to have an assignment on this on writing of chemical equations and balancing them. So the assignment, the question is write balance chemical equations for the following reactions. A, action of water on calcium. Calcium is a metal. On calcium metal. Uh, B, reaction of magnesium with dilute sulfuric acid. C, reaction of sodium with oxygen in the air. And D, reaction of zinc with steam. So we are going to stop there, and that marks the end of that topic. We'll see you during the next topic. Goodbye.